we as a planet are at the point where we need to remove billions of tons of carbon dioxide molecules from the air we're breathing right now. And we need to do this quickly. Solving a global scale challenge requires a global scale solution. And I think that's what we have here at Planetary Hydrogen. Planetary Hydrogen is a committed and passionate group of scientists, engineers, and entrepreneurs. And we have a really, really huge mission and goal. Our goal is to take a gigaton of carbon out of the sky every year starting in 2035. And that's huge. Our approach is called ocean alkalinity enhancement. Sounds complicated, it's not. Fortunately, the oceans are very good at absorbing carbon from our atmosphere. What our technology aims to do is enhance those natural processes and enhance the ocean's ability to, to capture and store CO2 in a safe way that is also beneficial to marine life. Our technology has four major components to it. We have the most important part is carbon removal. And we remove carbon from the atmosphere by adding a very mild form of alkalinity into ocean chemistry. The second part that we have to do is we have to produce that alkalinity. So we produce that alkalinity through an electrochemical process. And in that electrochemical process, we take toxic mine waste and we convert it into this very pure, safe, and mild form of alkalinity for addition to the ocean. The two other things that we do in that process that are good side effects is we get hydrogen out, which is a clean fuel and can be used to decarbonize. And then finally, through the addition of alkalinity to the ocean, we actually reduce the effects of ocean acidification in the local area around the addition point. So there's a whole series of benefits to this solution, but the biggest one is we have to take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere. This is a potentially game-changing technology. We're employing scientists, engineers, policy people, entrepreneurs to bring all these disciplines to the table to see if we can move this technology forward. From a chemist's perspective and a chemical oceanographer's perspective, I think it's an intriguing idea that is really worth uh, studying, scientifically fascinating, of course, but also uh, I, I, I do genuinely believe that uh, it's got uh, opportunities presented to present an ethical and responsible way uh, to be uh, part of the solution to, uh, to reducing the increase of CO2 in the atmosphere. Always research and development lab is considered um, the heart of a company. But it all starts here uh, in the lab where we're you know on a daily basis removing grams of carbon in the test tubes you see behind me. This team is the probably best carbonate chemistry in the ocean team, possibly in the world. You know, Doug wrote the tools that every other carbonate chemist uses. The opportunity to work with planetary hydrogen is a really interesting and exciting opportunity. I see this as a, as a, as a viable means to address the problem. We're a team of innovators, and I think we are, are people that, that find fun in solving problems. We are very excited to be a part of the Carbon Removal X Prize, a $100 million largest prize in history. And uh, recently, um, our student team that we sponsored uh, from the University of Miami was actually selected uh, as a initial prize winner. Uh, so they're getting a $100,000 prize to um, develop the measurement, reporting, and verification techniques as well as study the impacts of our technology on things like coral reefs and how they can benefit uh, coral reef restoration. I think that our responsibility is not only to combat um, the climate change, but also is to mentor the next generations. This is an example of a, a field of research that is highly motivating to students. And that can only be good in the end because it attracts students into science because they feel it's relevant and useful and potentially beneficial. And that in turn uh, will make sure that we've got a more educated population who hopefully won't just continue to repeat the mistakes we have made in the past. All my career and my education had been basically focused on um, combating climate change. And I am actually proud of myself um, to um, be a part of 
this um, combat.